Hello, my name is Antipi Vanina. I'm a health and wellness specialist. In order for our body to be healthy and beautiful, it is advised to do self-massage, and I will show you how to do it in our lesson. Let's start with the face. Be sure to drink a glass of water at the beginning of classes and after. We repeat each exercise for the face three to four times. We need to relax the muscles, improve blood circulation, muscle nutrition, and remove lymphatic congestion, relieve stress. Contraindication, acute pain, redness, and changes in the surface of the skin, painful skin condition. First, we will work our chewing muscles and evaluate how sensitive they are. These muscles collect 30% of 100 of our stress. We pass well throughout the muscle, especially at the points of attachment at the upper cheekbone of the lower jaw. And now we will stretch our muscle from top to bottom. Stretch it. And we'll do the same on the other side. Now let's work with our eyes. We need to knead well the place of attachment of the circular muscle of the eyes, the inner corners of the eyes near the bridge of the nose. Next, we press our fingers well near the bridge of the nose at the inner corner of the eyes. We push a little deeper to the level of the muscles, not the skin. And with the other hand, we stretch along the muscle to the outer corner of the eyes. We need to press deeply on the muscle at the comfort level. We do this three to four times. Now we press one hand to the outer corner of the eye on the circular muscle of the eyes. And with the other hand, we move along the muscles towards the bridge of the nose. We do this three to four times. Next exercise. We put two fingers on the movable eyelid. Press lightly and try to open our eyes. Resist with our fingers. Do this three to four times. We put our fingers on the lower eyelid. The eyes look up. And now we're trying to lower our eyes and the fingers are resisting. Now let's make a light lymphatic massage. We move the palm along the lower part of the neck. With one hand, we press the fingers well into the center of the chin. And with the other hand, we move towards the lower jaw, firmly pressing the hand to the muscle without stretching the skin. And so we move up from the center to the side. Do the same on the other side from the center towards the ears. Now we move from our eyebrows in the direction of hair growth, firmly pressing our fingers to our muscles and gently on the side, we go down along the neck to the collarbones. So several times we will walk very tightly along our neck from top to bottom. Now let's go along the entire scalp down to the neck. And now I'll show you how to work with the help of a sponge piling from Greenway. To do this, we need to wash our face and wet the sponge. The peeling sponge will provide the perfect result thanks to the special weaving of microfibers. It removes dead skin cells and provides a toning micro-massage of the face. Get rid of peeling and hated black dots. Give yourself supple and fresh skin. 
With the help of the green fibre sponge, we will make a light lymphatic drainage effect. Gently move in a circular motion from the centre of the face to the side. If we want to walk through some areas of the face where it is better to clean the face, then we just press the sponge harder and clean the skin in a circular motion. Facial massage is recommended to be done two to three times a week to achieve the best results. Now we will move on to body exercises. We repeat each exercise for the body three to four times. We need to relax the muscles, improve blood circulation, muscle nutrition, remove lymphatic stagnation. We create drainage and improve the function of internal organs. Thanks to this effect, we improve our general condition. We get lightness, vivacity, energy in the body and good mood. Contraindication. Acute pain, redness and changes in the surface of the skin, painful skin condition, oncology. To make our lymphatic drainage massage more effective, we will need the lymph points very well. This will strengthen our massage several times. We will work on the main lymphatic zones. Let's start kneading the submandibular lymph nodes, moving from the centre to the side. And now let's work on the suboccipital lymph nodes. Knead well. Next, we need to walk along the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Stretch this muscle from the bottom up and from the top down. Now again, it's necessary to stretch the lymph reset points. And now let's work with our stomach. We need to grab the fold of the abdomen with our fingers and pull it away from the body. We feel the tension. We do it at a comfortable level. It should not hurt. We do not let go of the fold Move it a little higher and repeat. We need to go through moving the folds along the stomach. Especially, we need to walk in the centre. And now we will work with our main organs, the liver and spleen. We will help improve the function. For this, we put our hands on the lower ribs. We need to improve their lymphatic activity. We inhale and breathe into our lower ribs. On exhalation, we slightly squeeze the ribs with our hands. Do this several times. Now we take a breath and on exhalation, we create vibration in the organs. The hands move towards each other. We simultaneously drain the liver and spleen. To improve the functions of the body, relieve stagnation, the main organs of the lymphatic system. And now let's work with our lymphatic zones that directly affect the internal organs. Let's walk well along the chest. The pericarditis zone, gallbladder, lungs. Knead these zones well. The next zone near the navel retreated approximately 2.5 centimetres and knead these points, the kidney zone. The next zone, moving along the inner side of the thigh, is the small intestine zone. We knead these zones well with our hands. We also knead well on the outer side of the thigh, the zone of the large intestines. We work on these zones and have an effective effect on the lymphatic state of the internal organs. Now I'll show you how you can use a washcloth mitt while doing a light lymphatic massage right in the shower. 
To begin with, we will knead our lymph points well and move from above to the stomach. And we move from the back to the stomach and do a massage. Further from the knees to our hips. From the feet, we move to the knees and continue to move up to the lymph nodes. Now we will do a hand massage, moving from the hands to the axillary lymph nodes. Then from the upper side of the back and neck, we move to the subclavian lymph nodes. Do it several times. You can use the scrub mitt about once a week. The mitten has two soft sides and the other embossed soft pass through the body first. We move from the back to the stomach, doing massage. Further from the knees to our hips. From the feet, we move to the knees and then continue to move up to the lymph nodes. Now we will do a hand massage, moving from the hands to the axillary lymph nodes. And then from the upper side of the back and neck, we move to the subclavian lymph nodes. Do it several times. Our lesson has come to an end. Massage regularly and your body will thank you.